Today's an engagement service. Tembisa Oase France. Someone from France. No Oase Australia. Koto a unke lugute ans agasi Oase Australia ungo alap. And from Australia, although she says said to me, I'm not an Australian. I'm from here. Koto agasi ge. Kwa ngati wazale lualap. But I, I don't know. I think she was born here. Where are you? I don't see you. You're so small. There. Where's Anita? Were you born here in South Africa? Were you born here? Australia? Oh, born in Australia, yes. Oh, then you're an Australian. <laughs> but you can nevertheless become a South African. But, now we start with our service. Our engagement service. Anita, are getting engaged, I'll ask him to come forward. Only you who are getting engaged. <laughs> Where is Anita? She, there, there she's right. Ah, <laughs> you too small. Sorry, I didn't see you. I just saw this big man. <laughs> and not you. Someone said, she's still young. I uh, said, no, she's not young. According to history, Mary was much younger when she got the child in Bethlehem. Do you hear? Anita, this is the ring here gives to you as an outward token of that that he gets engaged to you. Bang it to Kalingani. I thought a child was crying. Oh. But I see it's a, it is um, the union nation. But it's a union of joy. Did you understand that? I thought they were children. They're making a noise. <laughs> and I was looking to see the mothers that can't keep their children quiet <laughs> uh, as they should. In the meantime, they're rejoicing. <laughs> they were ululating. They were. Yeah. All right. She's still young, but she's brought great joy to my heart. Even if she talks very often, it's not like a young person, that I marvel at the way God is leading her and guiding her. We are, we are Togozisa. And this man as well, he's a missionary. Where's your father? Could, could you stand up that the people see you? And the brother, and the sister.
But then it took three years before we got our first child. Today I see the wisdom of God. Maybe at that time the people said, oh, they have got to get married. But at that time, I was still young, and I couldn't think so far. But nowadays, I think, hey, maybe the Lord saved me. People are speaking enough lies. But there, if they would have said such a thing, they would have been wrong. God willing, their wedding will be on the 30th, next month, not this month. They still like to go home and see her own country. After November, the prices of the airlines go sky high, but now they still are cheaper. So they get married just before the prices go up. Their parents can be glad concerning their children that they get married in such a way. And it's a joy to us. If young people get married in purity and holiness, Shall we pray? We thank you, Lord, for Pia and Anita, for their testimony, for that what you've done in their lives. We praise you. And we rejoice with their parents that they have lived in a way that has brought great joy to their parents. Bless them, Lord, that the remaining time before they get married, if you keep us, they'll be a bright outshining for you. Babe Ugukanya Ogukulu. Amen. Amen. All right. There was a war. Uh, I'll speak Zulu, then you can speak English. They all understand Zulu, do they? Uh, 
What about the French people? You know what Zulu, Zulu means? Zulu means heaven. So you better learn it, otherwise you get there and you can't speak the language. Yes. On my heart, the text uh, I wanted to speak about was Isaac and Rebecca. But then I thought, oh no, I can't. I've spoken so often about it. And people may say, he always speaks about the same thing. Then I said, oh, I leave that for another day. Next Sunday, Saturday, we've got a, a wedding. Their wedding will be on the 30th next month. So we, maybe it's for another day. I don't know. But I prayed and I said, Lord, please give me a word that will be a blessing to everyone here. Our causing seas and hippies, we, and your boys who see so bandubong. Siso funda i texti, moka numeri, isa sugoshia galulunye. Nine. Verse 15. Give this lesson in Antan. Gosugu itabenakeli elamiswangalo ifo ifu lalisi begela itabenakeli itende lobu fagasi ngabusi shwa lali pezu kwe tabenakeli on the day that the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, the tent of the testimony, and at evening it was over the tabernacle like the appearance of fire until morning. So it was always the cloud covered it by day and the appearance of fire by night. Nalapo ifu lenyu swa etendini. Basebe ham babantuana bakwa israeli. Nasenda wini lapo ifu lalima kona. Lapo abantuana bakwa israeli bamisa kona. And whenever the cloud lifted from over the tent, after that the people of Israel set out, and in the place where the clouds settled down, where the people of Israel camped. At the command of the Lord, the people of Israel set out, and at the command of the Lord, they camped. As long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle, they remained in camp. Actually, I should read right to the end of the chapter. But for the sake of time, I'll end there. Lapo abantuana baka Israeli. Sebe lakili tepa tabenakili eshane. When the children of Israel had erected the tent of tabernacle in the wilderness, after finishing it, a cloud came and covered the tabernacle. Though it was there, it was very high over the children of Israel. 
kodwa ngalolu suku lesa lahlela lehlela phezu kwethabenakhe but on that day it came down and the cloud settled over the tabernacle esabelelweni sekhulu nesihlanu ivezi langamashumi amathathu nashiya kalolunye in some 105 verse 39 it says god covered the tabernacle ngefu ebusuku ngomlilo with the cloud and during the day and with fire by night Now that was a visible sign and symbol of God's presence with Israel. Loku begu isibonakaliso sokuthi uNkulunkulu ukhona kanye nabantwana bakhe abakwa Israel. Eqaleni In the beginning the, there was the cloud but it was high up. Kodwa manje lasuka lehla laze lahlala phezu kwethabenakhe. But now it came down settling over the tabernacle. Las labonakaliswa ubukhona symbolizing the presence of god unkulunkulu ephakathi kwabantu bakhe god being among his people ebusuku lelifu beliguquka libe umlilo then at night that cloud changed into fire The Bible describes it as the cloud of glory. And that fire was also the fire of glory. Niyazike ehlane kuyashisa kakhulu. Now you know how in a wilderness it is very hot a mean during the day unkulunkulu wehla waba isambrela phezu kwesizwe sakwa Israel ilanga lishisa but god you, um, with that cloud using that as symbolic of his presence being the umbrella of shade over his people kanti But in a desert it is very cold at night. Kodwa bebefudunyezwa leli langabi lenkazimulo elali phezu kwethabenakhele. But they were then warmed by the fire of glory upon the tabernacle. Isizwe sikwa Israel besikhulu kabi cisho izigidi ezintathu The nation of Israel was a huge nation about 3 million Qabanga ke le unkazimulo yalo mlilo ubungakanani ukukhanyisela abantu abaninga ngaka nefu elali ba mbozilanga think therefore how powerful that fire was to give warmth to all those people and the the cloud to give shade kulomlilo naleli lelifu bebonakala inkazimulo kaNkulunkulu in that cloud and in the fire god's glory was evident in kasimulo kaNkulunkulu ibi ubukhona bakhe ibifakazwa ngokukhona kukaNkulunkulu 
And that glory was the symbol of God's very own presence. Aizishobo. Kumnandu kuhamba nungkulungkulu. Inkazimulo yake iya mangalisa. Oma uhambi sana nalo. Lelu lefu. Nalom lilo. Kufana nezulu. It is marvelous to be God's children, to experience His glory, and as we walk with Him, we experience that cloud and fire. Kwis manga aikimpi lemnandi janga leyo emshabeli kufana nezulu ugutu hambe nungkulungkulu abe nungkulungkulu wake wenu be indotana such a life is awesome to experience God's glory with you being his sons being his daughters they could see the evidence of God himself his nature his glory his beauty and his holiness. Begunga siloni ifunche. Not just any old cloud. Elfana na manya mafu. Not like other clouds. Kota begu ifu. Lobkona buka mkulungu. But the cloud of the presence of God. Na lom lilo ubunga fani. No munyum lilo. Begum lilo onwele ngwele. And that fire wasn't just like any other fire. It was the fire of God's own holiness. What a privilege the children of Israel had to experience God's presence in that manner all the time. Emini begu ifu ngoba umakade kube ifu epsugu ubunge na kulbona kahle during the day it was symbolized by the cloud if it was at night a cloud wouldn't be visible omni lo futhi ubukha ina pa ebusuku ebumnyameni uma ukhoni umlilo emini a fire during the day wouldn't be visible, but at night it was perfectly seen. God was among his people day and night. God made his law for them. Saying, look to the cloud. If the cloud stops, you too must stop. And if the cloud halts for a week, you too must halt. If it stops for a month, you too must stop for the whole month. Even if it should stop for a whole year, the children of the Lord must also stop for that year. The same with the fire. They were in a hurry to get to the land of Canaan where it flowed with milk and honey. But God said, I will lead you. 
wazi bona kalisa ngenze laba ibona ngamehlo abo bezwe ngenze beza and he revealed himself that they could see with their own eyes hear with their ears bese uma ifu livuka lihamba bekumelwe ukuthi badilize amatende abo nabo basuke balandele and should the cloud then go up and start moving they had to break camp and start following the cloud bebe kholwa ifu they were led by the cloud nomli lo and the fire bebuka lona gazing upon it bebukum lilo looking at the fire dear friends can you imagine something better than that zithobo is there something that surpasses that ikoni into engaphezu kwaloku na there's nothing in the world like that akukho kudlula lokho but what a tragedy it would have been if that cloud would have lifted and got gone forward and the people of god would have stayed behind kodwa yeke usizi uma ngabe lelofu liphakama lihamba kodwa abantwana bakankulunkulu basale banganyakazi or if god's people would have moved without that cloud and that fire moving and would run past it and run ahead of it noma they would have left god behind abantu ana bakankulu nkulu basukume bahamba bashifu emva kwabo okusho ukuthi bamshiye uNkulu Nkulu emuva anita anita a new peer now a peer never forget this always keep your eyes on that cloud and that fire never run ahead never stay behind keep your eyes upon god the way you've done it in the past few weeks and you remember that i've said there is no life and no glory and no beauty better than this the way you experience the lord and if you lose this oh my there couldn't be a greater tragedy in this world than that kwangathi amehlo enu anganamathela kulelifu musu kugijima niyaphambili nishifu ifu emuva noma ifu lihambe kodwa nina nisale muva njengokuba sena hlangana nenkazimulo engaka namathela kuyo ngoba akukho okudlula lokho emhlabeni akukho kumnandi kunalokho ukuba nimphilele uNkulunkulu nihambe noNkulunkulu nengathathi sinyathelo esodwa ngaphandle kwakhe nothing as glorious as clinging to god sticking to him not taking one step outside of him abantwana bakankulu bakwa israel uNkulunkulu kabe bavumelanga ukuba bathathi sinyathelo esodwa God didn't allow the children of Israel to take even one step without him. Mabe benga bantu abangenayo uNkulunkulu. Bemshiya imuva noma bahamba phamkwakhe. Then they would have been godless without God. They would have left him behind. or they would have been left behind by him umma umkhwenyane efika kimi noma nje ngokuba wafika kimi wathi onkel elo ngizwa ukuthi 
kubege kukuba ngithembise no Anita ngathi uneqiniso mfana phindele muva uthandaze thina ashelani asivaka shelani kuphela siyathandaza sicele kuNkulunkulu kulefu nakulomlilo ukuthi uNkulunkulu ahambe phambi kwethu when pierre came to me and said he feels this on his heart i said now you go back and pray and make sure with god that's how we do it we don't flirt around it's not a matter of romanticizing it but it is listening to the cloud looking to him no anita <coughs> and anita not anita nangumfana uthi kubekeke kuye uzwe kwintando kaNkulunkulu athembise nawe ngathi intombi awuphoqwa umuntu hambu yokukhuluma noNkulunkulu uhlangane noNkulunkulu uzwe ukuthi yena uthini kulokhu uyavuma noma kavumi and to anita as well i said don't feel obliged because nobody is pressurizing you you go now and you seek god what does he tell you to do uma abantu bethi yebo kuyakumukela ngithi awumtshele uNkulunkulu ukhulume kanjani nawe utheni kuwe nawe mkhwenyane ukoze uzwe lento kuqale kanjani kuhambe kanjani sihlolisisa ukuthi uNkulunkulu khona yini kulento and i do cross question a couple if they feel it's god's will i ask them how it started how did god lead you how did you find god's will kosho ukuthi ke sihlobo so friends ningasho ukuthi indlela yakwasiza abantu leyo inonsense leyo abantu abangena ukuchopha ekhanda don't say that that's how we that we tell you this you've got to do it you are told how to that who to marry that is nonsense you are brainless to say such a thing if you say that's what is a bantu way you're a spiritual fool it's you, not is a bantu way it's god's way I, here you've got it black on white action in jela yakwasiza abantu kuyindlela kaNkulunkulu nakho ubhaliwe no christian has the right to take a step without god commanding him to do it aliki kholwa elinelungelo lokuthatha isinyathelo ngaphandle ukuthi uNkulunkulu amtshele ukuthi akwenze and if you say well in our church they not so strict they don't teach us the better the sooner you get out of it the better i usually say go back to go to the other churches but no matter which church it is if you make a decision if you do something without god showing you and doing that before him no matter which church you are you're in the wrong place uma isonto lakho babona ngeni indlela futhi uthatha isinyathelo ngaphandle ukuthi uthole intando kaNkulunkulu usenda wen e wrong kuninge singakusho ngale ndaba much can be said about this matter akenbeke uNkulunkulu indlela enakekela abantu bakhe just observe god's care for his people giving them a cloud when it's hot in the desert at night when it's dark and cold he is said to enlighten his people he is said to warm them he is said to stand by their side ukuba khanyisela abantwana bakhe ukuba futhumeza uyena oseduze nabo 
Angnaxkat Kuluma Nabo Davita Nezinebu Zenko Si Ezazi Kuluma Nalindaba. We don't have time to speak about David and other great men of God, what they said about this matter. Zotatin Dabe Yoto and Jay Stabele Lo 37, verse 23. I'll just take Psalm 37, verse 23. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Do you delight in God's way? We are Togos. God going before. And you only walk in his footsteps. You go where he goes. And when he stands, you stand. Uhamba ezinyateluen zake. Lapo emikona nawe umi. Uma use kaya. Uma funda songi sashu. Go and read the whole Na lama ves enging awa fundang. Numbers and the verses I didn't read for you. Kutwa umli lo uma umi epsuk. If the fire. Ogo sugu bonge. Besekse ni kufigi fuli hambe hambe. Koto kulobu sugu unga tati sinyate. The fire stops at night then you stop too. But if the cloud moves during the day, you move. But don't take a step without him. Anita, for the rest of your life, let this be a lesson to you. No matter what happens, whether it's in bright sunshine or in darkest night, keep your eyes fixed on the cloud and the fire. Ku Anita, ku Anati, pilo yako yako yonke, ku ngabanjala mesho ako, anamatela emlilwe nasef nas naguso is nagulo ifu. And you peer. Now appear. May your father, your sister, your brother know you as a man who doesn't do anything, he doesn't move unless God shows him to move. And otherwise you live without God. This will turn your lives into heaven, a foretaste of heaven, because of the presence of God, or it will turn your lives into hell. Galoku esikulumangako, impilo yako, kungaba izulu, kotwa futi, kungaba isikoko. Nobody is too old here amongst us, nobody is too young. This is the way that we should all walk in. If we are saved out of Egypt, out of the world, and on the way to God's promises. Ageko onga fanelu guti ala lele loku. Kwanga tingoba yilo na lo ongu mzaluan. Owa keshwa ekipite ezweni. Uguti anamatel efwini nasem lilwe nasezi tembi sweni zikankulungu. But we haven't got a cloud now. But we haven't got that fire. Asinawo umlilo manje. We haven't got the glory. As a yikin kazimulo ebonagalayo. Esikwazo. But we've got something better. And that's the beauty and the glory of the Lord Jesus. May he always be before your eyes. 
Pambi Guameso Akon Jan. Koswe Avantu, Koswe Unsaba, Ameso Ako, Ave Guches, Forget Yena Yetwa. Let your eyes be fixed on Jesus, He alone. Forty Omayena Egoe. And if He's in you, Lelo. Leon Casimulo, Yomlilo, Isobabue. The glory of that fire will be present in you. O Maute Segue, Leon Casimulo, Yefu, Iobabue. If Jesus is in you, the glory of that cloud will be in you. God covered them, God kept them. God led them. Unkulunkul wava mboza, waba hol anjalo. Can you think of something better? Kukona in ogun on ogunalokuna. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. We say it so glibly, so easily, and it doesn't mean a thing to us. We hear it here and we walk out of this and we forget it again. Then we are fools in God's eyes. Namatalisa methu enu guchesu. Yebo siaguzo luku ganengi. Gotwa umasi puma si koshwa gushuguti sizi pugu pugu. Emethu en gankulunkur. God spread out that cloud over them as a covering. He covers you. Wabamboza ngefu futi nawe uzo mboza egvigela. You've got Jesus as a covering for your life. Uchesu ogumboza yo ukobolwako. And he's the fire that gives you light at night. Even if it's pitch black, the light will shine bright in its glory. Not only for you to see, but, but for everyone. Umlilo wake uzo kukanyisela, ebusugu, noma gumnyama buke, noko guzo kanyapa kuwena, nagwabanye ganyinawa. Now before I close, and in closing, I'm asking you a personal question. Is this true of your life? Every day, every hour, every second, or isn't it? God was saying, "Ya buzum buzum man, saying ya saying is ovala." Loku quick niso empilo nyako na. Is this what you are teaching your children? This walk with God. Uba fundi sabantu anabako lento na loku bu hambi sana nongkulunku. Don't call yourself a Christian. You're not a Christian if you don't walk this way. Uma gunge This is the everlasting way. This is God's way, not the way of Kasi Zabantu. I'd hate to be in the way of Kasi Zabantu, but I love. To be in God's way, and I love to delight in His beauty. And as we read Him Psalms, is in Yatelo Zomun to the Kinis from Guchova. We are turned in Selayak, we are turned in Selam Kuduku, no Mutandiswe. As it says in, the, in that psalm, the steps of a man are established by, by him for those who love his way. Do you love his way or do you love the world? Loving fashion and the opposite sex, well then, you are pure heathen. On the way to hell. I can in Tela. There is no other way. Nine Tela. Here is the way. Umma my foolish Salah get the beating. 
If you don't want it, well, remain in Egypt. However, I'm a Christ. Christians, I'm a Kolwa. believers, Nine-tailer. here is the way. You hear you from Korea. This is the way for you. If you don't walk this way and walk this life, you are damned and doomed forever unless you repent. This is the way for you, even if you come out of Korea. And all you others, wherever you come from, this is God's way. And if you're not on that way, then repent today. Right now. Nani abase kolia. Nani gwe zinye zizwe. Hiyo indlela kankulu nkulu. Uma ungas unga ungeko pagat kulendlela penduga manje. Upume. Utimkulunkulunketelele. Confess to the Lord and say, Lord, forgive me. I'm tanned you guti. Usuge gimi goes. I don't want you to leave me, Lord, but rather I want you to cover me always. I want you to I want thy fire to be in me forever, O Lord. So no matter how black the night, I will always behold your beauty and the eternal way. This sermon has been very, very, very short. But I wouldn't like to talk for a long time today. And at the end, you don't know where we started. I pray that God will take every word that you've heard and indelibly print it into your heart that you'll never forget it. And may it not only be imprinted, but engraved. Giatandazo guti unkulu unkulu anga palalento enti zwenyako gube sengati ubalent echeni. You've got no right to say I walk with God if your life isn't like this. Au na lungelo luguti ukulu uti gia hamba no unkulu unkulu uma impilo yako inga hambisani na lento. Agastoba makandi. Shall we bow our heads and pray? I ask you, O Lord, that your words wouldn't be in vain for us. You came down from heaven. You dwelt amongst your people. While the sun was shining. You didn't want them to suffer, but instead you covered them with, with your cloud. You didn't want them to have to experience cold at night, but with your warmth you would warm them up. Keep them warm. We ask you, Lord. That all of us have left, have left Egypt, the land of sin. The world. And the ways of the world. And our own ways. And our own will. See, that we do your will, O God, always, day and night. Amen. Amen.